So most of you are familiar with EasyBib, and EasyBib allows us to create a bibliography by simply clicking on a Google Doc, which I've already done. I haven't named it because this is just a review, but you could name it, say you're doing um, Moon Research Project. It's always good to name your doc. You go to add-ons to find EasyBib. Then you go to EasyBib Creator and click, click on Manage Bibliography. If for some reason you do not have EasyBib when you go to add-ons, simply go to the tab that says Get Add-ons and you can find it and add it to your, uh, your drive. So when you go to EasyBib Creator, you go to Manage and you click there. And then you'll see the options pop up on the right. Most of you are going to be using websites. Um, so you're going to be clicking on the tab website so that you can enter a URL. I already opened a Duxter document about phases of the moon. So let's say you use this particular um, sorry, website and you use this article. Every article on the website has a URL. You just have to click over here. You hit Control C, you go back to your document, and make sure website is clicked, and you hit Control V, and then search. The article pops up on the bottom, and you hit select, and then you add it. Add this bibliography to your doc, and voila, there it is. So, EasyBib automatically calls this works cited, but you could always change it to bibliography. You could also, whoops, you can also bold it and underline it. And if you want, you could change the font. I prefer Century Gothic, um, and it doesn't like to break up the web address, which is why it pops it down to its own line. But at the end, always add a return so that when you do your next citation, it will pop up in the right place. I always like to make my bibliography citations single spaced, and we do that by going up here and clicking on single. And then once again, make sure that you add a uh, space in between so you, you'd be ready for your next citation. So this is easy, Ben. It's easy. I know you can do it. And you can refer to this because I'm putting it on your materials section on your Google Classroom.